Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's me. I'm back. I'm the Coach of King. Today, I'm going over a video and idea that I had for the longest time. Today, I'm going to be telling you how I can nest and pretty much almost got fired from Six Flags, and specifically Six Flags Great Adventure. So, something you guys may not know about me is that I did work at Six Flags Great Adventure for two summers consecutively uh, in high school. Now here, I worked on a few different rides. I was a ride operator. I was all over the place. For the first year, I was at Cyborg Cyberspin. Chose because it was the new ride. It was all that. It was the new hype thing. Wanted to get involved with it and thought it was cool. Turns out, absolute trash can. So coming back that next summer, I worked at a few places. Once again, all over the place. I was at Joker for a while, then King the Cop for a little bit. Uh, there was some Dark Knight in there. But throughout this time, I had one home ride, and that was... Justice League Battle for Metropolis. Now, I didn't really like this ride, but I kind of grew to it just because the AC is pretty nice in a hot August summer. But that's not part of the story today. After working for a little bit at Six Flags, especially going to that second year, I started having a few ideas on how I could finesse the park, and I, I was pretty much done with it, right? So as you guys know, when you go to Six Flags, everyone knows how expensive the food is. You're paying like 10 bucks for a slice of pizza, and, and that just sucks. But the thing that people don't know is that employees, sure, they get a discount, but it's like $5 for a slice of pizza now. Like, wow, you really, you really helped me out there, right? So I said, enough of that. I have a meal plan. I've been a Six Flags fan my entire life. I have the unlimited dining plan, whatever it's called. So I wanted to use it. So after each of my shifts, what I would do is I would, or even during my shifts, during my breaks, I would take off my Six Flags shirt, the ugly blue shirt that we all have known and loved at this point, um, took it off, put on some gray shirt, and acting like I was completely normal in the park. I'd walk by my supervisors, and they would not notice. They'd just think I'm just an average guy because I would not pay attention to myself or anything like that. From there, I'd walk to the nearest restaurant, whether it be Primo, Johnny Rockets, either, even that Asian Chinese place, whatever you want to call it, and it was really good, right? I get two meals every day, and literally every day in the summer, I had two meals from Six Flags Great Adventure. I don't know how they didn't realize it, but literally, I probably had the most meals of any Six Flags guest of all time. I think that they that may be a record owned by the Kosher King. I think that's like a thing in their record book now. After this, doing this for a little bit, what you start to realize is, hey. Maybe I can do a little more, right? So I've always been a fan of the rides, as I said. So maybe after I get food, I would go on Nitro. You know, throw in a little El Toro, maybe some Joker. Um, but of course, I only have that 40 minute, 45 minute break. So I had to like schedule it out perfectly. Like sprint over to get food and sprint over to El Toro to get an, on a ride and sprint back just in time to clock back for my break. Now this all led up to one incident. Now, after doing this for a while, I got kind of generous. I would maybe, you know, sprint over to, to get food for five minutes and sprint over to El Toro for ten. And every time, I'd have it just about right. Where if it was a little screw up, I would be late. Now, this was a week of the opening of the new Wonder Woman Golden Lasso, whatever the hell it's called. The uh, giant frisbee. It's at the park. And I'm sitting at Justice League, it's right next to it, and I was like, do you know what? I really want to go in this thing today. So after I got my after my break started, I went over to the Chinese place, got myself some fried chicken. Would not recommend. It's absolutely terrible. But you know, I was just like, well, let's try it. Um. Anyways, I then went on Nitro for like one or two rides. Had a great time. Nitro was an awesome ride. And then decided I wanted to get onto Wonder Woman. Now, of course, this ride had like a two-hour line at this point, so there was no way I was going to get on it by waiting in the line, or else I'd be late and a half for my shift. So what I did was I went up to the Flash Pass person and said, hey, you know what, I know you, you know me, just let me on. You know, they, they, she knew me at that point because it's in the same area as Justice League, so she pretty much just let me on, and I got right on to the ride in for Wonder Woman. Now, at this point, as I said before, I had it so perfectly scheduled that any little mess up, to screw my entire schedule up. So I had about maybe 10 minutes until I had, I had a clock back in. I'm waiting in line, waiting in line. I, I got the time all right. You know, everything's looking good. I get on the ride with like five minutes left in my shift. Um, right after, I can be like one minute late. I'll be okay. Now, this is where things get pretty interesting. 
So of course, this ride's awesome. I'm so excited to get on it. And as you know, this ride is great. I get on it, it's like a two minute ride. But as it's going back down, it makes some weird noises. And it's not like some weird noises, you know, I'm an enthusiast. I've, I've experienced all the weird noises. But, but this is some weird noises to the point where, okay, it's broken down, you know? So it's slowly going back down, going back down, and it just cannot center itself. And eventually, after like three, four minutes, it finally centers itself and stops right in the middle of the frisbee structure thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. So it stops. It's it's not moving, and the seat just won't go up. Right, Wonder Woman is not faulted. It is down, and I know what's about to happen to me. So as I said before, Justice League is literally right next to Wonder Woman. So. When rides are in that general vicinity of another, they're likely going to share a supervisor who supervises all those rides and pretty much looks at all the ride operators and makes sure they're not doing anything stupid. Now, of course, they're aware of who's working that day. They're aware of who's on their shift, who's supposed to be not back from break. So when the ride breaks down, it apparently is a pretty serious breakdown. And I'm sitting on that one one for probably 35, 40 minutes at this point. I'm sweating. I'm just nervous because I know I'm obviously 35 minutes late. I don't have my phone on me, so I can't text anyone that, hey, oh, I'm going to be late for 45 minutes. So I'm wondering what the hell is about to happen to me. Of course, um, what do we see next is the operator or the supervisor in that area walk through the line, walk through the exit, and I'm like, oh, great. You know, like, I'm about to just get roasted. So this supervisor, he's a pretty cool guy. He just... Um, you know, takes his job a little too seriously. I get it, it's for safety reasons, but like, you know, you work Six Flags, we don't have to give our lives up for this. You don't have to like, yell at me, whatever. But now this guy comes up and he's going through the exit. I'm nervous, he's probably angry because some idiot employee is not on their shift and they have skipped through the break for 45 minutes. Um, and he gives me just a death stare just a death stare like I just killed his dog or something and I'm like you know great I'm gonna get fired I'm gonna get yelled at and you know I was not having the best days I was like okay I'm down honestly just fire me I want to go home anyways but fast forward maybe 15 minutes later maybe 10 minutes later I get off the ride and supervisor walks over to me I'm like what do I do now I'm in a bad spot so he's just yelling at me like, this is so irresponsible of you. Why would you do this during your break? And you know, this is against the rules. I'm going to have to write you up and report you to the supervisor. I don't know what's going to happen to you next, but I have to report this. And I'm like, dude, I totally understand. You know, like, I'm in the wrong here. I'm sorry. I will go back to work. I go back to work. Sure, I was 45 minutes late. Um, doubled my break time there. But, um, yeah, I, I, I was back finish off the day next day i got called in when you when i got scanned into the uh supervisor for the park pinners they were like okay come in now so i go walk to the supervisor and they just give it to me they just said that's so irresponsible you're not allowed to, I, and I said i can't work today i had to go back home and i think i got suspended for two more days on top of that but um yeah so i uh, needless to say i didn't do that again just kidding. I absolutely did the same thing again for the next entire two months that I worked there. Um, and then, yeah, and I was going to be doing it again. I would have not stopped, but COVID happened, park closed, and I was like, well, might as well do nothing with my life. So, and, and I made this YouTube channel. So here we are, full circle there. But of course, as always, thank you guys for watching. I know it's a weird video. I know I haven't literally made a video in months. I've been a pretty busy guy. I'm sure you guys understand how that goes. But um, I am going to put up a few different videos, video ideas I have here. So I have a story about the time that a kid jumped off of the roller coaster car during a ride. I have some of the craziest stories I can share from working at Six Flags. And I also have some of the best and worst food at Six Flags. So let me know what you guys want from those videos. And also let me know in the comment section what you think about this video as well as videos for the future. I'll see you guys next time and be good.